G'day, welcome to another Moho tutorial. Today we're going to create a scene with Z depth using a multi layer image file. So let's go for it. All right, so here we have our scene in Moho. Uh, it's a blank scene, and what we're going to do is import a Photoshop file created in Clip Studio in this case um, into the scene, and uh, we'll start doing this trick. Okay, so let's do it. What we do is uh, I'm going to import. You can drag and drop and uh, all sorts of other ways, but this time I'm just going to use the import image and I'm going to import the design into it. And here it is, a house, spooky house. Let's open it. Uh, I can uh, either bring it in as a Photoshop file with individual layers, where I can edit it in the program I created it in, but it's a little bit more risky and uh, you know, we can edit it within Moho now with the bitmap um, uh, tool now. So uh, I'm just going to import them as PNGs. All right, so let's do that. Um, I'll save the folder. I'll save the images of these PSDs into a folder and it starts creating all these new bitmap layers inside Moho. And as that's happening, you'll see Okay, you'll see that the masking has is is not working yet because we have to create that inside Moho itself. But we won't worry about that now. What we're going to do here is create the depth. So first of all, I'm going to uh, move the camera into a better position. I'm just going to pull it back a little bit further, and then I'm going to zoom it in. There we go. So now the trick is that we're going to do is here. If I show you the scene, rotate the scene, you'll see this purple thing here is the camera. Um, I'll zoom in on this a bit more. Now this isn't the camera. This is just the the workspace view. So you can see here, there's the camera and there's our layers all inside the house here. If I turn that off and see it disappear. Now what we want to do is something that if you've done 3D before, I mean most people know about this, but it's all about how we're going to do it in Moho. So here's the transform tool and here's the Z depth, you know, X, Y, Z, X is um, left to right, Y is up and down, and Z is back and forward towards the camera away from the camera. So if I increase this here, you'll see that layer is being pushed forward. But if I was to go back to the, the front view, which is the camera view, where is that tree gone? If I reset uh, Z distance here, you'll see it, it had changed its relationship with the camera. Now we can move it all around here as well, but I want to move it in Z depth. So what I do is in, in this case, I'm going to use the shift and alt button and then I'll drag it forward and it'll see it snap back there. That's what's happening as the scale snaps it back. So it retains exactly how it was when we brought it into the Moho scene. Uh, so if I go back here and I'll show you again, you'll see that that tree has moved forward. It's increased in size. So it maintains its proportion to the scene as we brought it in. So here's two, shift, alt, and then I drag down and that'll bring that forward. You'll see that value up in the Z is getting larger and larger. It's two and that tree number one was almost three. So let's bring that right up to Four. That's getting quite close now to the camera. Let's have a look. In fact, that's about halfway to the camera. Hmm, interesting. So, reset the view. 
let's do a couple more and we'll move this up to about two. let's move this one a bit closer again um, and let's move it up to about there now I want to maintain this front layer of the house which is um, basically the um, house one which is this layer and the balcony I want to keep them at zero because I'm going to be importing a person into that position and zero is a nice good place to keep things um, I'll be moving these other layers backwards in space especially the trees at the back so let's keep moving these these ones forward this shrub can I move this one this one here that can come forward a bit so shift alt and drag downwards and I'll start marching forward so that's at about one shrub two in fact this shrub where is it I think that should be quite a lot closer so we'll bring right, right to the front in the layer order because this Z depth doesn't affect the layer order and then I'll shift alt and then drag down to bring it forward and I'll bring that all the way up to where see let's have a look where the camera is the cameras at eight so I can bring it all the way up to like seven if I wanted to so let's bring it nice and close And if I want to, I can increase the size of this as well if I wanted to change it. But that doesn't increase its Z depth. So I'll put it back to there and we'll have a look at the layout composition in a little while. Um, and, and if I was to push the camera in, you'll see how there's that parallax. Now those trees are all moving at slightly different rates. And I think it's looking quite good with this tree number two I'm gonna move it four which way let's see I want it to move a bit more in comparison to the house so I'll move it forward some more shift alt and drag down and you'll see how much that moves and now now it looks better now that looks better and in fact this very front one I think I'll drag it forward some more oh uh, yeah okay that's that's looking at see as we go forward it really looks like we're moving into the space and it gives us a clearance to see that balcony okay so let's have another look what do we need to do we need to move the trees in the background and these other parts of the house house two so this time i'll be alt uh, shift alt and then pushing up and we'll watch that z up here going backwards and uh, i'll do it more to uh three um push that backwards oh that's quite a long way back there and I think it needs to go back even further let's have a look uh, much more oh, pushing up okay pushing up oh. Oh yeah, okay. I've uh, made somewhat of an error, but what I can do quickly here is just to fix the sky. Right. To do this, I'll just grab the bitmap tool, and then I'll using the shift button, um, some paint, a paintbrush. Let's go with this one here, I'm calling it forgery. And let's change the overlay, uh, the. Uh, color to normal and then I can just paint in that bit of a so there's all sorts of things that I might be able to do if I need to make changes or just fix errors 
luckily we can do that now using these new brushes and there's a lot of them this one splodge splodge to I made these brushes and I can't even remember it was quite a while ago these are all standard brushes within uh, Moho 13 all right that should do for now okay let's go back to the issue at hand moving the camera forward and uh, let's go back to this house two and dragging upwards to make it go backwards in space and then we've got air yeah, that's looking giving quite the illusion there of some depth um, got another shrub here and then all we have to do now is the back trees back trees um, what was this depth this was at minus nine so we want to take that one probably to about minus 12 minus seven minus 11 minus 14 well that'll do and this scrubby stuff here that's not really showing up but um, we can change minus 35 okay and last one is a sky and that needs to be done a lot All right, let's have a look now minus 72 that'll do so I'm gonna save that now I haven't even saved this look at that that's very risky save as um, scene 13 I should have done this a while back don't tell anyone save you know that that's basically it I mean let's move the camera a bit longer let's go for about six seconds I might need that much and then press play and see what it looks like okay one more thing the interior now that needs to be a little bit further back so let's give it a bit of depth in there and I might actually increase its size just to guarantee that it doesn't yeah see that there it's got a bit of depth in there and once again great also if you ever see is that look here on about on uh, house two seem to have a little bit of a, a floating pixel oh it's on house one here you go put the eraser on and erase that nastiness away this just means that you're uh, much better off than going back into the uh, pair uh, program you drew it in you can fix it right here and uh, oh here's a little nasty here too look back here and I can draw on any frame too on that tree there I don't really like that bit there so what so I've got the eraser and I can erase with any brush so if I want to use the uh, sponge I can go to erase on the sponge and then I can just get rid of that bright spot that I don't quite like there and another little one there anyway that's how you that's how you do it that's how you um, use moho to create Z depth in your files so I hope you enjoy oh actually one more thing what I would want to do here also is I probably wouldn't mind putting some wind in these trees and this is the good thing about moho I can um, quickly group with the selection make it a bone this is press right click create bone layer I can bone that sucker up and and give it some uh, animation in fact one little lesson that you should uh, uh, learn from this is uh, 
if you want to burn something out up actually I should say, should have said this before because you can see now that that is on a different uh, Z depth the bones still on zero isn't it and the tree is not so uh, that's a that's a good thing that I actually caught this because uh, what I would normally do is create the parent bone on the Z depth um, so as a demonstration let's delete what you should really be doing if you want to bone something is that you should have um, let's take this out of that group and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, copy these values the scale uh, well, I cut, actually I'll copy that because it's the same across here the scale values and the position values especially the Z depth it only really matters about the Z depth and then I'll reset that and then I'll drop this into there actually I'll make sure I copy all these values copy and reset all that and then throw it into that and it's fixed it so now this is as it was it'll still look the same there we go so that's a good way of uh, getting out of that situation if you want to put uh, some bones or rig up something that is in Z depth make sure it's the bone layer that has the Z depth on it not the image layer okay so now you can see as I move that forward they stay stuck together so when the wind starts blowing you can see that tree move um, I put that on cycle cycle all right so there's a little bit of movement there um, and I do the same to these other trees especially this branch in the foreground too so anyway I hope you enjoyed that um, and um, I'll see you next time bye